Ghana's Minister of Education, Dr. Yo Ozei, has commissioned 80 STEM schools all across Ghana. And also, he has plans of taking Ghana to PISA in 2025 and also explaining why he made STEM education free in Ghana from kindergarten down to high school. It takes reorganization, rethinking, then to be able to do what people thought was impossible, reducing cost of education per child. Lovelies, welcome to my channel. I'm Delicious Army here at talk Ghana. I talk Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, and all the good stuff relating to them. Do well by liking the video. Do well by subscribing to the channel. The 80 STEM schools, the Minister of Education, Dr. Yok Sei, and the President of Ghana, Nana Akufu Addo, recently commissioned on the 21st of November is trending. Yes, you heard me. It is trending. I know you can imagine 80 STEM schools all across all the regions in Ghana. You can look at your screen and see many of the schools that were commissioned recently. But before we talk about these 80 schools, let us quickly talk about the Minister of Education explaining why he made education free in Ghana. Let's listen to him. Some people, the idea that they can go to school and when it's exams time, they are not being sent home. Mm. Their parents were used to a system where when, for they those were expecting the child to come. Oh, yes, I mean, you they knew that he was going to come. Come home. You're going to be sent back home to go and collect your fees. And I have to be sincere with you. This is the first time I am hearing that quality education can come free. It is very, very new to me that this standard of education you see on your screen can come free in Africa. It's my first time seeing it. And that is why it looks as if when it comes to Ghanaian education, I'm always blown away. And I don't even mind making hundreds of videos about it because it is something that makes me, you know, I just can't explain how I feel seeing things like this. He explained in this video that the reason why he made education free is because many at times, not so many at times, it was a regular occurrence in Ghana then. During the education time, student learning in the classroom, their parents would allow them go. But the parents know that once it's exam period, the students will come back home to come and collect school fees. Many poor families could not send their children to school. And even when they send their children to school, they could only send them to, you know, low quality schools, schools without standard. And this has continually been the difference between the rich and the poor. The rich will always send their children to quality schools, to schools where they have the latest technology, where they have conducive learning environments. But the poor, this is what the school of the poor always looks like. But with this recent Minister of Education, he said no. If we want a working Ghana, if we want a Ghana where both the child of the rich and the child of the poor will be able to make it, will be able to represent Ghana in world competitions, then we need an educational system that both the poor and the rich can afford. And this is why you have STEM schools that are free from, from kindergarten down to high school. Wow. Now, let's quickly go to Ghana going to peace. PISA is a worldwide educational system that helps students below 15 years old to evaluate how much the students can apply their knowledge and critical thinking in real life situations. Many global countries make sure their students go for PISA competitions because these competitions furthermore exposes the students to worldwide technology, worldwide endorsements, and a whole lot of exposure when it comes to the country's technology and development. Yes, and before any student can go for these PISA exams, should be able to think critically. Let's listen to what he has to say when it comes to Ghanaian students going for PISA. Ghana, we're preparing to go to PISA. But I also realize that we have to look at our local assessment regime. Invariably, we think that in education, we have what we call CIA, curriculum 
instruction, and assessment. So we do that so well. But what we fail to understand is that assessment comes first. The outcome that you want, the product that you don't have to create. See, so if you go to PISA and don't do it, you are not PISA-like. So our national standardized test, we brought psychometrics from Australia. They look at the PISA exams and they incorporated a number of PISA-like questions to make it PISA-like. So if they do on the national exams, it tells me we can go to PISA and we'll be able to do it. I want to conquer the world, but we are starting. He has said it all. And that is why when you go to countries like China, when you go to countries like India, there are students, I'm talking about secondary school students, are developing technology. Go to China. China is, has one of the fastest growing economy. Countries like Japan have the fastest growing economy. Why? Because of the quality of students, the quality of children they are raising in their schools. You will see some technologies, they will tell you that it is a secondary school child in China or in Korea or in Japan that invented it. This is the benefit of STEM schools. Our students, our children will no longer be learning by memorizing. Like he said, you cannot memorize your way out of poverty. You can only do that by critically thinking and innovating things. That is why it looks as if over here in Africa, people are easily deceived. One politician can just come out and say something and people will not even think. Is this person, what this person is saying, is it, is it right? Is it okay? Why? Because we don't critically think over here. We just memorize it and that is it. But with this next generation, politicians will not be able to deceive them because they will be thinking more critically. When they go to the diaspora, they can compete with the likes of children from India, children from China, children from Korea, from Japan, from the US. And it is happening live in Ghana. That is why I said the future is very, very bright for Ghana. Because if they can keep up these STEM academies, the quality, trust me, in the next coming years, Ghanaian students will be introducing and inventing technologies that will be needed all around the world. They have already started by inventing ballot boxes that can prevent election malpractice. They have started by inventing dialysis machine. They have started by inventing robots. They have started by inventing so many softwares that makes life better in Ghana. This is just the beginning. By the time Ghanaian students go to Pisa and come back, you will start seeing some technologies that they will ask, who made it? Yes, it's a Ghanaian student, a secondary school student in Ghana that made it. These are the benefits. And I know with these 80 STEM schools, which you must have seen on your screen, STEM education will go round in Ghana. Because a country with 80 STEM schools, wow, what are you telling me? It will go round. People will have a feel of it. Students will learn. They will innovate. They will no longer be cramming things. No, they will now be thinking critically on how to move the country's economy, how to innovate things, and how to put the country on the global map. I must say I'm impressed. I just hope that other African countries learn this from Ghana and implement it in their system and also making it free. Because trust me, other African countries have STEM schools, but they are freaking expensive. Make it free. Subsidize it so that every child in that country can gain access to that quality of education. Because if you introduce STEM schools and they're expensive, how many people can afford it? How many people can pay? But when you make it free and subsidize it, even the child of the poor can attend it. Lovelies, that's all I have for you in this video, my beautiful people. Do all by liking the video. Do all by subscribing to the channel. I'm Delicious Army. Yeah, I talk Ghana. I talk Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, and all the good stuff related to them. Do all by liking the video. Do all by subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in my next one, guys. Bye-bye.